This is Karen O'Brien and I'm going to go through uh, processes to run and correct GDS installation issues. So let's go ahead and start with the Flow2D setup. So again, anytime I get something onto my computer, I make sure that it's not blocked. And I always log in as administrator before I run this. Don't use your administrative password. So this is your official install of Flow2D. So it should install, install the click no for silent. This is all uh, default because this is the official install or the, uh, I'm sorry, original install on a clean computer. So everything is default. It's extracting and uh, installing map objects manually that fixes an old map object issue. Now it's in extracting and installing the uh, SWIM program, the C++ redistributables, and the Intel redistributables. So it's extracting the, and these for whatever reason cannot be run silently apparently, so they're just going to require you to answer the questions. I'll figure that out later to get those to run silently. So this is the Intel C++ redistributables and the next one will be the Intel or the Fortran, Intel Fortran redistributable. And finish. And that is complete. And now the final step is to, oh, sorry, data access object. This is a uh, really old Windows access programs. And then we have the Flow2D folders with the example projects and the Flow Pro folder that has the engines and uh, other programs that you need to run Flow2D. Okay, now Flow2D is complete and the final thing it does is put this um, icon on your desktop. So GDS. Now GDS, as the program ages out, it gets harder and harder to install on Windows. So we're going to walk you through some of the potential errors. I'm not going to get all those errors on my computer because it's my computer. So I have like full control over it. But what these are the things you might see as an administrator and as an end user. Okay, so let's start with opening it. First of all, if you are, uh, if you don't have admin rights on your computer, that could be an issue. So double click computer uh, Q GDS. If it says that there has an initialization error, you will follow this step. So it's going to say, first off, it's going to say one of two things. First thing might be um, that it's missing a .ocx. If you get the missing .ocx error, it's a very simple fix. You go to uh, C drive, program files x86, common files, Esri, control A and delete, and then go back and run the installer again. So you're going to delete all these files. You're going to go back and you're going to run the installer again, except this time you're going to turn off everything except map objects. So we're just going to let that say click yes. Uh, when it asks of whether or not you want to run silently, click no and then click next and then I agree and then the next is to turn all of this off and then run it again and it will refill all those uh, uh, those DLLs in that folder and it will re-register them. I'm not going to do it because uh, I didn't have that error. The next error, when you double click GDS, the next error you might get is an initialization error. Say it, it did not initialize. And then when it opens, it might look weird, like there might be a little animation thing right here. If you get that error, you need to run GDS with admin control. So the way to fix that is uh, C drive, oh, I guess it was right there, C drive, program files x86, flow2d pro, right click, properties, security, 
go to the user who's going to use GDS, uh, I guess that would be me, and edit, allow full control, apply, OK, and try it again. If you get the error again, right click and run as administrator. Okay? That should that could should get rid of that error if you're not an administrator. Again, why do we stop using GDS? Because of these problems. So QGIS fixes all of this nonsense. All right, but if you still set on using GDS, no problem. We'll figure it. We'll figure everything out. Okay. Um, now you get into GDS. The next step is file, open existing program. We're going to go to. Um, see we want C drive users public public documents flow to pro documentation example projects QGIS tutorials lesson 2 and load fplane.dat and now this is one of the tutorials examples we want to try to do a couple things to it first thing we want to try to do is to intersect a polygon and create a grid layer. If this doesn't work and you've tried it as admin and it still doesn't work, then you need to run map objects again. So I'm going to just double click and then right click and see how it intersected that polygon to my grid. Okay, so that was good. Now if that didn't work, you close it out, you go to the patch, and you run map objects. Before you run it, you right click properties, compatibility, run in compatibility mode with XP Service Pack 2, apply, OK, right click, run as administrator. Click yes. And that should allow you to run the MO24 uh, to install map objects. All right. Then you try it again. Let's open existing lesson two. Same thing. Yes, I can create a grid layer. Yes, I can intersect to that grid layer because map objects is now installed correctly. But then the final or the next step file, import an image, individual image. It's back in lesson one. If you cannot import this image, you have to get that map objects to run no matter what. You have, if you can't get map objects to install, you're not going to be able to use the GDS. Um, so if this doesn't work, if you can't load an image, come get tech support from me. There's a few more things I can try. Um, now let's do one more thing. The last thing is the data access object. So that's a different project. So we'll open a fresh GDS file, open existing, go to, again, remember this is, um, sorry, C drive, users, public, public documents, flow to pro documentation, example projects, QGIS tutorial or GDS tutorials, lesson seven this time, because we need green amped data. So the rain and green amped project has two shape files and two tables. If we can load the shape files, yay. Map objects is ready. And if we can load the tables, yay, data access objects is ready. If you have any problems with loading your shape files or intersecting your shape files, you need to run that map objects installer again. And you can run that as many times as you want. You can try restarting your computer. You can try all that stuff. Just try to run that as many times as you can. And maybe one of them will kick. Um, then this next one error that you get is a data access error. So grid green amped compute green amp will bring up this window. If you can if you cannot import this table, it's because your data access objects are not installed correctly. So we have two things we can try. Close out. You got to close out. So here you come back here, right click. Uh, properties compatibility mode set to run this project XP service pack 2 click apply click OK right click run as administrator this is uh, something that happens super fast 
it won't take very but a second to finish this you shouldn't need just keep it default and it's good finish and you can try it again but I think it's just gonna tell me that something's wrong with the um, MS jet package so instead I'm gonna run this guy and same thing uh, properties set your compatibility because this is a 32-bit program so it will not run with Windows 64 so you need to set it up to run with Windows 32 oh sorry um, hang on right click properties unblock apply check that the compatibility is still good okay we're good you might not see that unblock thing on your computer it kinda depends on what your company does okay that one was finished that's all it does then you double click GDS file open existing going back to green amped back to lesson 7 green amped import the two shape files and grid green amp parameters compute the green amp parameters let's see what we got here land use we'll go from imported change it to land use change this to LD use LID import the table and now you can see that the table imported because the data access objects are set up correctly and the same one this is uh, from imported soil and this one is uh, soil LID import the soil table and then click compute now if it if any of these steps go wrong it's that mo 24 RT that does that because that's the intersection tools that's the import um, images tools that's the import shapefiles tools those are all map objects DLLs every the data access object only happens when you're trying to load those tables and now we're gonna save that infill.dat file and then uh, that is your completed test so if you can get through those steps and get those three or four tests to work your GDS is installed correctly if not and you still absolutely have to use GDS and you don't want to use QGIS then you have to get technical support so you're gonna to have to call in or email me Karen at flow-2d.com and I can have help try and help you get it started